Hey everyone, it's Jessica, and I'm here to bring you yet another panning project. Yes, I know I'm a little bit crazy, but this is my year of panning, and I could not resist doing this project because it is Star Wars themed. This is May the Panning Be With You, and the original collab started on January 31st, and it's going through May 4th, as in May the 4th Be With You. And I am jumping in after the original collab and just joining these wonderful ladies in such a creative painting project. So without further ado, let's get to those products. I like to always start with my non-makeup items first. This is the Weedod, I think that's how you say it, Weedod Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. I can't really see through this packaging how much is in here it's not a ton I'm guessing somewhere in this range but I don't really know for sure and I have a body powder this is from Avon in the fragrance far away I actually have um, a far away per spray in another painting project so I figured I might as well try to get this out of the way I don't use body powder I think I got this in a set that had like a big perfume, a purse spray, and then of course the powder. What I actually use this for is to, as crazy as this sounds, I like to put it in my shoes and help refresh my shoes so they don't get that funky smell. So that's what I'll be using this for. Hopefully I can use it up by May 4th. If not, any progress to me is a good thing because I won't use this any other time. Okay, I have a body item. This is a lotion bar. I actually have two lotion bars in another painting project that's um, supposed to be done on May 5th, so that's a day after this one ends, but I'm hopeful that I can get all of them taken care of. This one is in the fragrance Graceful Gardenia. There is not much left of this one at all, but it is not... Um, very easy to use because it's it's kind of it's not soft like some lotion bars it's very emollient but it's um it's a harder bar so it takes a lot longer to get through but because it's winter i use a lot of lotions body oils that kind of stuff so this is a good time to get this done okay i have two face skincare items the first is estee lauder idealist this is a pore minimizing skin refresher. This is a deluxe size sample. I think I got this free, um, like a gift with purchase. Never been opened, so I'm not really sure how my skin's gonna react to it, but I do have very large pores, so I'm hoping that this will play nicely with my skin. And then I also have the Venolta Retinol Serum. Looks like this. It is virtually brand new. I think I've used it once or twice. Um, this was sent to me as PR. And of course I had to at least test the product. But um, it's got kind of an interesting applicator. It's a thicker formula. I mean, it is liquid, but it's a thicker liquid, which I kind of like. And I really like the way this pump is. It's, and it's beautiful packaging. So I was out of my other retinol serum, so I was gonna add one in anyway. Might as well put one into a project. So that's the Vinalta retinol serum, and we'll see what kind of progress that we can get by May 4th. Okay, I do have two actual makeup items. Oddly enough, they are both by e.l.f. Okay, that's probably not very odd since I do really like a lot of e.l.f. products. The first one is in this e.l.f. shimmer palette. I would like to hit pan on this pink shade. I have only really swatched most of them. I've maybe tried them once or twice. Some of them really don't have anything going on, but I don't really know how to use this. So if anyone has this e.l.f. shimmer palette and knows how to use it, please give me suggestions. I do have very oily skin, so I'm a little leery with um, cream products on my face. I know that I can't use it as an eye base because it will crease on me. I think that's where I used that one. And 
I think I was creased in less than an hour, so I definitely can't use it as an eye base. So if you have any other suggestions on ways to use this, please put it in the comments below and I will try it. So my goal again on this is to hit pan on this pink shade. And my last product is an e.l.f. eyeshadow. I don't think they even make these anymore. Um, these were the single shadows. They made those like compacts that you could put like four of them in to travel with. This is actually a Coastal Scents palette and I just put my e.l.f. single shadows in it. But this color right here, I want to say it's ivory. Let me see if I can pop that out and see what color it really is. Yes, it is in the color ivory and I've only used it a few times. You can actually still see the eye embossing on there, but it is a softer shadow. So I think I can make some good progress on it. And my goal for this one is just to hit pan. Okay, that's all I have for you and may the panning be with you. I will try to update my progress as often as I possibly can. But like I said, I have a lot of panning projects going on and I do try to update regularly but I don't have a specific schedule like some people do every two weeks some people do once a month I just do them as often as I can so I will definitely update especially if I have any major progress I'll make sure that I can um, get some filming done and update you on any progress if you like painting videos please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so, so you can keep track of all of my painting projects I do have um, my most current painting projects linked below. So if you want to check those out, please take a look. I also like to um, do some updates on Instagram. So I have my Instagram information down below if you also would like to check out my Instagram page. All right, until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.